Oh, hey there. Uh, welcome to the behind the scenes of my film, Basement Bags. <laughs> Basement Bags is a short horror film I made a couple months ago when I realized that my friend had a creepy basement that uh, I could get my hands on. And if I can get my hands on a creepy location, that's usually all the convincing I need to write a horror film around it. Um, cellar doors open. And then as the cellar doors open and like the light comes through, there's something in front of the camera that we didn't know before because it was pitch black. And then you walk down unbeknownst to what just happened with like a crate of stuff you like. For this short to work, I needed the basement to be really messy. So I bought a bunch of white trash bags. I distressed them, I dirtied them up and I just threw them everywhere. And then for other trash, I just grabbed some recycling from around my house and uh, ripped that up, tossed it around, made the basement look like a mess. We'll pan back here and then you'll like turn around because of the sound of like a trash bag or something. In the short, there's these different creepy handprints around. For that, I just bought kids acrylic paint or something. I got black paint, red paint. I mixed it together, put it on my hand, and smeared it wherever it was needed. And that got the job done. And because it was kids paint, it came off my hands really easy, unlike some paint I've used in the past. The entire short was filmed on the Sony a7S II with the 24 to 70 f2.8 G master lens, all handheld except for the first shot. And for lighting, it was just the sunlight coming through the basement door. And then I had the aperture 120D bouncing off the ceiling to fill in the face a little bit. And then at the end, that whole shot was lit with just that hipster bulb hanging from the ceiling. So to pull off the creature effect, which was really simple, it was just a trash bag over someone's head. Sounds dangerous. So we just had the actor open his mouth and breathe in to wrap the trash bag around his face to define his features a little bit more, make it look creepy. And that's how that effect was pulled off. Is this the first time that you had to wear a trash bag in one of my scary movies? It's actually funny you should ask that because, um, no, it's not. <laughs> Previously, I've been trash man. And so it's kind of a repeat role. And actually, I'm really hoping this picks up into something I can do full time as trash man. And for the creepy trash hand, you just took a trash bag, ripped it up, wrapped it around the hand, tried to make the fingers look longer, and uh, sealed up with some white duct tape. Well, first I was just going to put his hand inside a trash bag alone, and it just didn't look creepy enough. It kind of looked like just a bag moving, and so it needed some hand definition. So, uh, Trash Man's been busy. He's been crafting a suit down here out of the trash on the ground. One thing I really wish I had done differently is I wish I had just recorded sound on set. It's not something I did back then because I just wanted to shoot the film and get it done as fast as I could and then worry about all that other stuff later. But uh, when I get to later, it sucks. I'm just not good at it. Uh, it takes me a long time and I end up procrastinating more than I need to. So something that I'm gonna try to do moving forward is record sound on the day, just get someone in there, hold a boom, just throw it on a C stand if I have to. And having that foundation is very helpful and it's way better than starting from scratch for me. Close. And if there's anything else I wish I'd done differently is I wish I'd made it a little bit longer. Most of the stuff I've made in the past is around a minute, a minute and a half, which is fine for that stuff. I enjoy that time length, but uh, it's kind of my comfort zone now. So I kind of want to push myself and stretch and see if I can make a story work in that amount of time and maybe break that two minute mark, maybe three minutes. Who knows, maybe four. Well, backstory to this movie is potentially Prem, the lead, he is just, he's just moving in. So he's bringing down some, some junk that is, you know, found his way into his house. And then he's like, oh man, it's a mess down here. So he starts cleaning it up. And the previous owner had killed a man and hit his body down here. And Trash Man, you know, he's the one that got killed. He's pissed, he's manifested back into a terrifying creature that only seeks to hurt people. Dang. Thanks for watching the making of Basement Bags. If you're interested in checking out any of my other films, check out the channel. If not, cool.